Josephine Walwema teaches at a university in Michigan in the U.S. She's in Uganda on holiday with her son and thought she could use services provided at the Diaspora Awareness Week to get a certificate of dual citizenship. We cannot get our citizenship yet approved because apparently the, the citizenship board expired and has not been reconstituted. So we've been advised to wait for perhaps three weeks or so, or depending on when the president reappoints the citizenship board. I paid $600 to change my flight. And I came here only to find that there are no documents here. Others hope to pick their national ID cards. Because there's this advert that went around, people in the diaspora should come and get their documents. So I came here and it started at nine, but till now the national ID guys haven't yet shown up. Many flocked the citizenship desk at the event in Kampala, hoping to get their dual citizenship certificates in a day as promised. But they were told they would have to wait. What do I do? I'm just going back without anything. It is a shame that today I learned that the board, board expired. They have no board member, board chair, that could sign the, the certificates for the diaspora. This, some of the people here have extended their travel. We don't have to come to Kampala to process these things. There's a, a, a division of internal affairs in Bali, for example. I could have submitted all of my documentation there. Figures show that in 2017, Ugandans in the diaspora contributed more than 4 trillion shillings, which amounts to 5% of the country's GDP in remittances. Edward Mhumza, NTV Tonight.